I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman and here are three tips to help you get the best water filter pitcher and use it properly based on Consumer Labs tests. First, you don't need to spend much to get rid of chlorine and lead. In fact, we found that nearly every pitcher, especially the least expensive ones, got rid of all the chlorine, except for one expensive product. All the products, however, got rid of lead. And you don't have to spend more than $30 for a pitcher, or $15 for a filter, or really more than about one cent per clean cup of water to get rid of. Second, don't be tricked into over-filtering. Some water filters can remove nearly all the minerals, which can be less healthy, clog filters faster, and make you replace them more often. Only if your water is very earthy tasting do you really need to significantly reduce the mineral content in there, which is also known as total dissolved solids. Number three, flush the filter very well. We found that some of the water filter pitchers actually add microplastic particles and carbon particles to the water, especially early in their use. Spilling out the first few pitchers full of water before you start using it will dramatically reduce this problem. If you are one of more than 90,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online now and see our full report on ConsumerLab.com, which will show you our test results and comparisons of these and other filters and our top picks.